Well, I started taping, and I don't know why my camera turned off, but um, anyhow, we're going to try this again. So we are making another Simply uh, hand-stamped easy card. And so yeah, I'm kind of frustrated here. I don't know. I was filming, and, and then all of a sudden I just lost everything. So... Um, we are using the same ink colors that we used in the previous card, the same stamp set, the artistically inked. We are, uh, made, this is the card we had made. And so uh, this is the card we are going to make and that we are, we're in the process of making when I realized my camera was turned off. Okay, so we're adding the Pacific Point uh, and this little, uh, let me get it here, this little uh, blotch, I don't know what else to call it. And so we inked that up in the Pacific Point, and then this is, we stamped it going one direction. We stamped it going this way. Then we turned it around and we stamped it going that way to get this effect. So that's as far as I had gotten. With a card, we, and we use the Pacific Point. These are all stamping up. So that's what we had done. And then um, we're still going to be using the polished pink, the fresh freesia, and the granny apple green. Okay, so we're still going to be using those. Okay, so we also had stamped the happy birthday on there in black. Alrighty, so now um, I think I've caught you up to where we are. I do want to say thank you, a big thank you to um, Tex Stampin' Sharon for her uh, tutorial on how to do this card. So uh, that's where I got the idea. Alrighty, so the next thing, um, I said I would have the measurements at the bottom in the description box, so be sure to check it out. We are using a piece of white, and it'll be five and a half by four and a quarter on the A2 card. And then we're using a piece of black. And then this white will be the one that will go on top of here. Okay, so now I think we're all caught up. Um, I already stamped my flower in the polished pink. I've also stamped the other one in the Fresh Freesia, and I've die cut those out. And then um, I've, cut, I've done the leaves, the two single ones here. You can see them in the Granny Apple Green, and then uh, the double leaf. You have that, and then we have one more here. I didn't use my die cuts, I just cut them freehand. So we'll cut this one out here. And I do apologize for that. Um, I don't know why my camera turned off. It really bugs me that it did that. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know. A mystery, I guess. So we're just about done here cutting this out. Okay, there's our other leaf, and then, uh, let's see, there was something else I wanted to say, and now I don't remember what it was. So, oh, and so then the next thing we want to do is, um, I don't think I need this leaf anymore, but I do want this little flower, because, remember this little one here? We are going to stamp the inside of this one here. So let me ink this up, stamp the inside there. Um, I don't think I need that anymore, that one. So we are going to want those little dots again. I'll get those out. And we'll need the black. So that is one of the reasons I, I do put my inks away because I don't want to accidentally 
stamped the wrong color on there. So we're going to put these in the center again, these little dots. And we'll put some in the center of this one right here. And um, that's all we're going to do right at the moment. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to get some of this foam tape I have in here. Uh, do I want to use foam tape? Nah, I'm not going to use foam tape this time. I'm going to use my um, dimensionals. And we're going to pop all this up. So what we're going to do is take and put some, about maybe three of these foam dots on here. And then this one here, the little Fresh Freezy one, we're going to put a couple foam dots. I probably should put them closer to the center. We're also going to put some on our leaves. So everything is popped up here. So, and these are small enough that we can get one on there. On these little, little guys. And then... I think I'll put one on here also on the bigger one. Okay, so those were our dimensionals. I'll put those aside. So now let's just take our uh, this big flower here and we're going to stick it on here kind of just like this. And then we'll Peel these backing off of these. I'm checking my camera every once in a while, make sure I'm still on here. Okay, and then we're going to stick that one up under here, like about there. And then we'll put these little, um, little leaves. I'm going to stick right under here. And I'll do the other one stick it. I hope you can still see this. I think you can. We'll stick that one up under there. And like I said, this is another quick and easy card, especially once you get all your your pieces. Um, let's see if we can get this up under here. get your pieces all cut out and everything and if you don't have dies you can just cut them out freehand and we'll stick this one over here i'll lift that up i can get that i don't want to hide my happy birthday on there so that's what we've got so far and then what we'll do is we're going to take that little little dots again and we're going to put some on the card. So we're going to put some right here. We'll put some down here. We'll put some over here. I think that's about good enough. That's all we'll do on that one. And then we're going to use some more of these little um, gems, rhinestones, whatever you want to call them. Okay. So I'm going to use blue this time. So I have a big blue. Let's see. I'm going to use this blue. I don't really have the real dark anymore of the real dark blue. But we'll use this one here. We will take one of these little dark blue ones and put it down here. And I think we'll take one of these ones and put it over here. It's a little bit different than the other card, and that's okay. Put that lid back on there. So this is what we have. And then what we're going to do is put our card together. And we're going to bring this in, our base. Oh, and something else that we can do is you can also finish the inside of your cards and just stamp another flower on the inside. So it makes it pretty. So I think I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. We'll take the Fresh Freesia and ink it up, put it inside here. 
And then we'll take the, the leaf. Oops, let me get that off my finger. And we'll make a couple leaves. Oh, let's do that real quick. And I'll put one right here. And then I think I'll put one over here. And one right here. Alrighty, that's good. Cover this. I'll show you here in a second. Let me get this put back away. So I just put that on the inside. And you can go ahead and stamp your little black dots if you want to. I'm not even going to put it on the acrylic block. I'm just going to hold on to it. And then we'll just put those on the inside. There we go. And we have those little dots on there. Okay, so now we'll put this together. I'm going to use wet glue. And I'm going to put it on here. And you'll see what I mean about making this pop. I'm going to try to oops, get enough border all the way around the same, the same uh, of width and everything. For the border and then we're going to take the white put some glue on here okay and we're going to put that on here leaving a border around the edge too and then i'm going to kind of go in here like this I'm going to be able to get this all in here. Get this down. Okay. I put my lid back on my glue. And there's our card. I'm just making sure that the, it's all down. There you go. So that was the other card where we took, and we took this one, using the same flowers and leaves and the same color inks. And we just added the blue in the middle and then added those flowers on here. And it just elevates it a little, a little more. So I hope you give the stamping a try with the inks. And, um, and thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you to all my subscribers all the ones that have been with me for a while, and to the new ones. I just really appreciate you. And until next time, happy creating. Bye-bye.